Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now this is going to be an extra special reading for you today. We have Venus going conjunct Uranus in the sign of Taurus on May the 18th. This is a very special time. Venus being a planet of love and relationships in Uranus, all about chaos and sudden changes. Unexpected things are going to happen in your lives, everyone. Get ready for this. So May the 18th is when this alignment it ha is happening. We're gonna find out exactly what that means for your sign. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the Guardian Angels Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card and then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Pisces, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this conjunction. So we are getting for you never too late. It's never too late, Pisces. I'm going to read you the message of this card. So don't let past obstacles or delays make you doubt your abilities or opportunities. Each day is a new beginning, brimming with potential and possibility. So let me read that to you one more time. Don't let past obstacles or delays make you doubt your abilities or opportunities. Each day is a new beginning, brimming with potential and possibility. So look at that. It's never too late to move towards your dreams here. Okay, Pisces, so let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. I don't know if any of you have a crystal ball, if you're able to see, if you're a seer, this is coming through this as well for me today. So the Empress card, look at this, what a beautiful energy for you, Pisces. This is an energy of love, of nurture, of creation, of fertility here. Lots of success, a lot of growth and expansion coming in for you. The sun is shining on you and everything is growing, Pisces. This is the energy of the Empress. So now this is a major arcana card, so this energy is going to be prominent. It is in the background, so some of you are going to feel this intensely, others you're going to feel this subtly, okay? So the Empress, we also have the Four of Pentacles. Look at this, you powerhouse Pisces. This is, a, this is a card of wealth, stability, and security that you build for yourself. I feel some of you are feeling creative. We also have good luck that is coming in on May the 18th, so we'll talk about that as well. So the Four of Pentacles. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. Whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So Four of Pentacles, it's all about you building those strong foundations in your life. We also have strength. Okay, so it's time for you to tap into that inner strength. It's time to, for you to be brave and courageous and to build. Build your dreams. I do feel there's creation in the back of this. This is you coming to the forefront here. Um, building your dreams, Pisces. So again, this is a major arcana card. So we've got some big changes happening for you right now. All right, so the strength card. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Pisces. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. Wow, we've got some beautiful things happening. Now we have Jupiter Kazemi also happening on May the 18th. This is a day of great luck for everyone. It's because Jupiter is closest in alignment with the sun and this is where the sun supercharges Jupiter. Jupiter being a planet of good luck, wealth and prosperity. This is the energy that we have available for us. So it's now time for us to pull that energy in. Okay, so 
growth, expansion. This is the sun shining on you and also Jupiter energy because this card brings in blessings and abundance, okay? Prosperity through your own energy, through what you create in your life. And it's time for you to start creating your dreams. This is your little nudge here, Pisces, for you to start creating, visualizing, actually working, putting the energy in to creating and nurturing those dreams. Okay, committing yourself to them, devoting yourself to them. Um, I'm getting an energy of a child coming in here. So, and these dreams, it's kind of like having a child and taking care of this child, um, nurturing it, um, you know, helping it grow to its fullest potential, right? All the love that we put into that child. Um, it's that kind of energy. So perhaps some of you are going to hear news around a child. Maybe you're going to have a child, right? Um, maybe this is a project that you're giving birth to. Um, Pisces, some new idea or some sort of a new information that is coming in that is going to help you almost plant that seed or help your seeds grow. Those of you that also... Um, have had experience wilting of flowers. This could be literally in your garden where your flowers might be wilting. This is a renewal energy that's coming in. So it's almost like spirit is nourishing um, those seeds that you have planted with water through you. Um, you're doing the watering of the plants here. So um, what does this mean for you? Like I'm seeing someone in their garden. You might be in your garden. You're someone that has a green thumb, right? You enjoy your garden. You love spending time in it. Uh, maybe you have a house out in the woods somewhere on the countryside, Pisces, where you're able to really tend to your garden. And there's a lot of care in your home. Um, this energy, this is, I, I feel this is uh, the energy of Taurus coming in right now. Creature comforts your home, that place where there's comfort. Um, indulging in those creature comforts is also coming through. So maybe there's a need for that right now for you. Uh, Pisces, maybe you're feeling like you miss home. You want to be home more. You want to spend time with family, um, with the relationships that you have. I'm getting almost like a disconnected energy or feeling like you're being disconnected um, from something or someone and there's a need to re-nurture that. Um, so I feel this is the month, the month of May to uh, really uh, go back to that energy and start to nurture it again. Uh, I'm getting mom energy coming in. So some of you might be taking care of a child. Um, this could be an adult child, perhaps, but I feel there's a little bit more energy that you are giving to some of your children. Maybe this is your sibling, like it's related to your family here um, or wanting or needing to do that. Um, so making time in your day to do just that, Pisces. Um, it's never too late to make time for your family. So no matter what it is that you're doing in your life, whatever it is that you're wanting to create, whatever it is that you're wanting to work towards, it's never too late to start doing that. Um, I also feel like there's some importance on your family, your foundation, your structure here. Um, you really wanting to put energy into that. So again, home is coming up. Some of you might be renovating your home, perhaps the bathroom or kitchen in your home, painting, um, painting the outside of your home, mowing the lawn, like just tending to your home and your personal life. Um, even yourself here. I feel you're really taking care of yourself, um, implementing things. I'm seeing someone eating chia seeds. Um, I don't know why chia seeds are coming up. It might be a confirmation for some of you. Um, maybe you're sitting here watching this as you are eating it, chia seed pudding or something like that. Chia seeds, or maybe you're growing them. Uh, I don't know why chia seeds are coming up here. Um, and mango, and maybe you're meant to combine those. I don't know. Um, I'm getting fruits. <laughs> They're showing me a ton of fruits and vegetables right now. We're going to, maybe some of you work around fruits or vegetables or just fruits and vegetables are on your mind right now. Okay, so know that there's a lot of growth and expansion coming into your life through your energy, through your creations, your self-expression in the world right now, Pisces. Okay, so they're really wanting you to put that energy, that nurture, that care into the things that you want to see growth in in your life. Okay, to actually initiate that process. Remember, it's never too late. You can start right now. Okay, so stability and security. This is where you're laying those solid foundations. The focus is on your foundations here, whether that's in your home, around your home, whether this is, you know, your beliefs, your values, um, in your home, your health, all of that. There is this 
refocus on this recently for some of you. So I do see some of you making little, little changes in your day-to-day -day lives to really build this foundation where you can see yourself rise, where you can see yourself progress and become more successful, right? The stability and security you are seeking, you are creating that by your own energy. So what I'm also getting is someone accumulating something like picking up and taking something. So uh, what I'm getting here with this energy is um, taking in information, taking in knowledge. This could be skill sets where you're building yourself up, adding value. Okay. So maybe some of you are starting a business or in a business where you work for yourself. You're an entrepreneur and you're trying to find ways to and to add value to yourself, to um, develop yourself. It's like mastery that's coming in with this card, okay? So you're mastering something. And there's a learning curve that comes with that, so that. So don't put too much pressure on yourself here. Don't be too hard on yourself when you're going through this process of building yourself up. Um, Pisces. And then I have another energy where it's like you're holding too tight to something. There's like this hoarding energy, this hoarding of energy or holding on to things because you're afraid of losing them. They're always going to be there, spirit says. So this could be relationships or people or things in your life. So it's time to let them go, especially if that energy has come in and they're starting to part ways with you. And that's what there's fear and you're holding on. Just let it go. Let, don't try to control that Pisces. Just let things go. There's some things that are meant to be in your life and some things that aren't. Some things come in temporarily, right? Um, cleaning out your space, cleaning out your home, especially if things are piling up because energy gets stagnant. So when we start to feel the energy being stagnant around us because of our environment, it's time to clean that up and allow that chi energy to move around. Okay, so cleaning your room where you spend the most time. Um, and not spending too much. I'm seeing someone spending out there. Maybe you enjoy spending money. Maybe it's on random things and you're collecting things in your home and you know it's better off out of sight, out of mind. But because it's there, you tend to buy it. So you might be a shopaholic here, Pisces. So you have to kind of slow this down a little bit. Um, I feel that there's this need or want or desire to accumulate wealth. So those of you especially that are spending a lot of money, maybe it's time to just tone that down a little bit. Uh, making coffee at home rather than buying it at Starbucks, McDonald's, or wherever you're going. Um, maybe holding off on that TikTok, TikTok product or Amazon product, especially if you don't really need it, there's no point in buying it. Sometimes we just uh, spontaneously or impulsively buy things. So this is where you want to be mindful of your finances. Money management here is going to be very important. Um, I feel some of you are dabbling in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, perhaps you're kind of seeing where this goes with you. I do feel there's some money coming in with this. It's going to take time. It's not instant. Perhaps it is instant for some of you. I've seen people that have made instant money. But I feel there's something long term here coming in. Don't look short term, look long term with whatever this is. Um, tied to money, coins, Bitcoin, crypto, whatever this is, stock market, investments and all of that. There's a long stretch of something. So I do feel long term and investments are going to really work out well, well for you. Those of you that are looking into those right now. So strength, this is a part of you that is coming to the forefront, Pisces. So with all of these energies that are at play right now, we have good luck in the background as well. So uh, explore the possibilities around your desires and your dreams. This energy, even though it's happening, this alignment is happening in May, right? Uh, Venus going conjunct Uranus and then Jupiter Kazemi, all May the 18th. But I feel if you put it on a, a calendar, this is what I personally feel these energies, how it affects my own life. It might affect you differently, but I always um, mark the date. And then as I'm on the calendar, I make a big circle and just spread it out. And that's usually my target point of where I'm going to feel this energy. So I do feel for some of you, you're feeling this energy of good luck. It's an opportunity that is being given to you right now to really shine in the world, shine in your own life, to build the strength, build, build the courage within yourself, to take that leap of faith, to make that decision, to just go for it, whatever this is that you're wanting to do in your life. Maybe you're wanting to travel. Maybe you're wanting to start that business. 
Uh, start that, uh, you know, working out routine. Um, start eating healthy rather than delaying it, waiting till tomorrow. Why not just start it today? Okay, so there's an alignment that is happening with your higher self through this. And this is where that strength is coming in for you. Um, I don't know if you are connecting with your higher self to soul to spirit. There is some sort of energy coming in that is really amplifying you right now to rise up and stand up for something. So this could be something in your personal life. This could be at work. Maybe you're meant to stand up for someone or even for yourself. Okay. Um, boundaries here to really understand what your boundaries are, especially with other people and their energy. I do feel that some of you are going through some sort of a change. This is why you're having to tap into your strength. You are meant to go this ex through this experience, Pisces. So no matter what it is that you're going through in your life, you're meant to go through it. There's a higher purpose for it. it it's almost like this training session for you to really wield your powers that you have accumulated over the course of your life. So we have an accumulation of something here. This could be your superpowers, which is coming up out through the strength card. Um, there's a Leo energy present here as well. I don't know if any of you have seen a lion anywhere in your life. These are all confirmations that are coming in. Sometimes spirit wants us to tap into the energy of Leo. Perhaps this is happening for you or spend time with a Leo in your life just to pull that energy into your own life, um, embodying that energy as well. I'm getting here um, a life path number four or eight, like a four, eight human design, any of you that are into that, this is also coming in as a confirmation. Four to eight days, four to eight weeks, and four to eight months is also coming up for you. Life path four and eight as well. Look at that, all of these numbers. Perhaps you're seeing these numbers somewhere in your life as well. Um, Pisces, so the strength card. I also feel there's something rising within you and I do feel this is your true power, your identity, your uniqueness, your authenticity, your true essence. So it's going to take shape. It's going to take shape in physical form in your reality um, through something. This is your self-expression through creativity. So I, I do feel that some of you are creating something in your reality um, that is tied and linked to you, your higher self, your soul here. And this is that creation, right? So there's something brewing inside of you here, Pisces. You're going to have to share it with me here if you're actually becoming that version of yourself through an experience that you're experiencing. Um, this could feel like a real hardship for you that you're going through, a real challenge, but you're meant to overcome it. They want you to put yourself outside of yourself, to look at whatever you're going through from a neutral perspective, to put aside the emotions. Yes, we're gonna feel emotions when we go through some of those challenges. We're actually meant to feel the emotions, right? We're meant to come here and experience everything. So you're meant to experience your emotions, but don't allow them to do don't allow yourself to dwell in them instead put yourself put those emotions aside for a second and lo let's look at this situation from neutral eyes connect with spirit release any thought any kind of worry or stress that you have because once you do that spirit connects and they can show you guidance that can come through with awareness um ideas inspiration motivation right so i feel that um this is allowing you to really push through and it's never too late. Spirit guides, are, they keep repeating that in the background. I've been hearing it the whole time as I've been reading your cards today. It's never too late. It's never too late. Why are they saying this to you over and over again, Pisces? You'll have to share this with me. I feel you know what this is. Why it's never too late for you. Maybe you're thinking this in your mind. Okay, so build the strength, the courage, the bravery to take that action because it's never too late for you. All right, I'm now going to pull a bonus card. This is Messages from the Spirits of Nature, Oracle, everyone. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So anything more that Spirit wants to share with you that we haven't touched on is going to come through this card today. So we are getting for you Pisces, Owl, Intuition. Look at that. Have any of you seen an owl in your life recently? This is your confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now. So intuition, wisdom, information, understanding, knowing through the other realms here. The number 28. Maybe you're born on the 20. Oh, no. On the 28th. Yes. 
Um, and 28 days, so the 28th of the month or 28 days as timing. If you're seeing the number twos and eights, again, this is confirmation for you. There's this a union of some sort of power happening for some of you through this energy. And I feel that you're highly intuitive. The signs are there and perhaps that sign is through an owl for you. So owls are found throughout the world and in every continent. Many owls have evolved to be primarily nocturnal and they excel at hunting in the dark due to their excellent vision, hearing and ingenuity. You don't see or hear them coming. The cover of darkness helps them avoid predators and attack prey and due to the structure of their feathers, they fly in almost complete silence. Their eyes are completely immobile but they can rotate their head 270 degrees and adjust their vision from telescopic to microscopic in a matter of seconds, which helps them quickly and fully focus on their prey. Owls have come to symbolize shadows, deception, the unknown, and even death. Okay, so the message here for you today is darkness is the breeding ground for intuition. Those hits of awareness that can sneak up to you at unexpected times and in unexpected ways. Inspirations and creative ideas have been silently gestating and now they are slipping through the veil that separates your con subconscious mind from your conscious awareness. Sometimes they appear as external signs and other times at the sudden aha, as, as that sudden aha moment. And as if they have been stalking you for a while, the information and messages can come through your vision, your hearing, or as sens sensations in your body that lead to a knowing. This is the definition of intuition. So you're learning to play, pay close attention to the different ways intuition shows up as well as learning how to accept and trust these inspirations. They have become an increasingly important way for you to receive guidance. There are many changes going on in your life presently, Pisces, and navigating through them hasn't always been easy. Rather than trying to figure things out in the old ways you've employed, Keep building trust in your gut instinct and observe how any other shadows of doubt become more readily dispelled. Okay, so owl, intuition is coming in for you. Let's pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you in process. Things are in process right now. So have faith, believe that everything is happening for you in your highest good. The number 1010, maybe you're seeing this on a clock, on your watch, on the computer, on your cell phone. The number 10, some of you might be born on the 10th of the month. We're getting 10 days, 10th of the month, 10 weeks and 10 months around the message of this card. Some of you might be seeing the colors in this card in your life as well. So time for a change in your life. Pisces, so you're gonna see this change coming in, you're on the right track. Even though change has come in, you're on the right track. You're just moving, you're going to move in a new direction. There's messages coming in and this is a part of your soul evolution, okay? So um, pay attention to the messages. Some of you might be wearing a pendant like this in this card. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.